So, I actually meant to make this video a while ago. Oh, I should say first, what's up guys? Forrest here. And I just kept putting it off because there were a few concerns regarding the coding project, project engagement, which now y'all very well know as Social Leader, which I've only made a handful of videos, so maybe you don't know that just yet. And I actually wasn't gonna make this video just yet either, but we hit a little bit of snag with the how to set up a Node.js project for GitHub code spaces because it was a little bit of misleading information on GitHub's part. They said that Codespaces is only available for team or enterprise. I'm under the impression that you're able to purchase one of those subscriptions, the team being $4 per month for, uh, per user, which is just one user, so $4 per month. And then Codespaces has all these other uh, compute costs as well as storage costs based on the amount of storage and the what hours in terms of compute. Anyway, I started recording the video for that and it turns out that you don't get direct access even after paying for where uh, the accounts in which they say you can gain access because i go to enable it in the settings for the organization that i had to set up when i paid for it instead of actually doing it on my personal account which i'd rather have anyway that's the whole thing when I set up the settings, I was actually met with, let me show you actually. Right here, want to try GitHub code spaces? Please contact the code space team for access. Yeah, so that's kind of annoying. I figured I was gonna be able to gain access as soon as I paid, but I can, I have to wait for the code spaces team to give me access. So a couple more videos until that video, depending on when they plan to get back to me, hopefully they'll grant me access and we can go from there and set up a Node.js project, which is my project which is a project we're talking about in this video, Social Leader. It is actually this repository that you see in the background. It is not an open source project. This is a private repository on GitHub, but there were a few concerns. One was my own concern, and that was the fact that I wasn't gonna be able to spend so much time working on this project. And the fact that I announced this project in my first video of this year, my coding plans for 2021, and what you will see in the near future, and it is already September and is not quite done yet, kind of shows you the limited amount of time that I had to work on this, which is perfectly okay. Our overall goal was just to complete it by the end of the year, and we're on track to do that. And before we get into the many concerns that y'all had, allow me to reiterate what this uh, coding project is. Well, it's gonna be a web app. We chose the Mern stack because that is what y'all recommended, even though I'm a Java Spring developer, but y'all wanted me to go with the Mern stack, which I've been enjoying so far. It was just a bit of a learning curve because I've never really used JavaScript, so that's kind of new to me. However, I felt like I got past that learning curve fairly well. But either way, the overall idea for this web application is a leaderboard, a leaderboard of you all that ranks you by engagement points. This actually currently exists on Ken G's YouTube channel. He is a data scientist as well as a YouTuber and he created it with a Streamlit and it breaks all the time and whatnot. I'm not talking about on Streamlit, it's actually a pretty cool program, but hit what he put together, and this is coming from him, it breaks. So he wanted to build something that was a little bit more mainstream, a full-fledged web application, enter me. I am the software developer, so I'm here to develop it. I'm actually, it, to be fair, okay, Ken, if you're watching this, I am waiting on you for the ETL. Although Ken did say that he was gonna be busy for the next month or two. So again, this project is just a fun little project that we're working on. Not much of a time constraint other than we wanna get it done by the end of the year. In order to gain these engagement points that allow you to rank higher on the leaderboard, you leave a comment, that is an engagement point. You also get an engagement point for each like you get on that comment and each reply you get on that comment. And how it stands right now on Ken's channel is that at the end of each month, he is giving things away to the top 10, top five, however many people, the, the top ranking individuals on his leaderboard. And then at the end of this year, I believe he's actually giving away a laptop to the most engaged individual on his channel, which is pretty cool. However, with all of this, especially with the prize incentives comes the main concern that I actually had and that y'all had as well that I saw a lot in the comments when I first announced this app idea is spam. What will prevent someone to create a bot or whatever it may be to just leave hundreds of comments on every single video that you have. Well, we haven't directly addressed this, but this is almost addressed by the nature of the leaderboard itself. And there are two things that'll help prevent spammers. One is that if they try to leave a hundred comments on a given video or every single video for that matter, they're gonna get picked up by the YouTube spam filter. So that's not going to work out for them. But even if they do manage to get past that spam filter by doing like 
12 comments on a given video? Well, right now, everything is weighted the same. So you will see a comment with a thousand likes on a given video. Well, that person just got a thousand points, engagement points for those a thousand likes, plus one point for the comment, plus a point for every single reply under that comment. So for someone to have to leave all of these comments, they're gonna have to get a lot of likes on their comments and a lot of replies on their comments in order to even come close to someone who is just legitimately interested in the channel and leaving a genuine comment and getting a bunch of likes and replies themselves. So that is one way. Also, we are storing all of the comments in our database, all in JSON, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really take up much data at all. And we're gonna be able to look at each individual top, top ranked person, any prize winner that is, at least that's what I'm gonna do, any prize winner, I am going to look at your comments and see if they're actual comments. If you're just spamming hi, hey, or a bunch of mumbo jumbo, and I can tell that you're just spamming in order to get to the top of the leaderboard, then I'll kick you off the leaderboard. I'll block you from the channel, I don't care. I want people who are leaving actual comments and are actually engaged in the community to be able to win these prizes, not someone who is coming by spamming and hopes to win it. So those are a few different ways that we can kind of fight the spam concern, which also begs the question, should we weigh these things differently? Like the likes, the replies, the comments, should these be weighed differently? And in the MVP, we actually don't have the comments being, um, how do I wanna say this? The reply, your comments that are replies to other comments, you don't get points for those, which kind of stinks because you wanna be rewarded for commenting on other people's comments because that's more so, that that's engaging more in the community and that's actually what I wanna see. I don't necessarily wanna see y'all comment on my video, just commenting on my video and talking to me. I wanna see y'all talking to each other and replying to each other's comments in a positive light. I've seen some nasty comments, not recently really, because anyone who's nasty, I'll just block, I don't care. <laughs> but, but either way, I wanna see y'all engage with each other, so that's something we're gonna do later down the line. That's not, that's not even a question. The question is, should we weigh these differently? And should we weigh the replies differently, the likes differently, the comments differently, and your comments that are replies to someone else once we take those into consideration should we weigh those differently or should everything just be one point because right now it is kind of just preventing spam because you can spam all you want you're not going to get a thousand likes on a comment but yeah that's <laughs> unfortunately we couldn't do the github code spaces video today but i did want to kind of touch base in in terms of social leader since i've been uh, had much time to work on it over these past uh, couple months I've been, I had to finish up my boat in July. I was building a boat, many of y'all know that. And then I had a kid in August, that's kind of a big thing. So, so I wasn't really spending much time making any videos, let alone coding. Oh, and I actually do have something else that I wanna mention. And that is where the app is going from here. Cause if you saw the last uh, video regarding this project, I don't even remember what we did. We did a lot of the, I know we did a lot of like the UI, with React, React Table. We made the nav bar just to start to make it look a little bit more like an actual web application, like an actual website. And I don't know what else, but we have most of the, basically most of the data and all that there with a few problems there with the data structure, uh, I believe, I, 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 if I recall correctly. Again, it's been a couple months. But going from here, I obviously have to work more on the UI just to get the MVP off the ground and launch and I'm actually going to be hosting it on Linode. We've actually sort of, I've actually sort of teamed up with Linode. I was able to get them to give us some hosting credits and I was actually able to get them to give y'all like, I think it's a hundred dollars worth of credits on Linode. Yeah, that's right. A hundred dollar credit for Linode when using my link, linode.com slash forest night. I will leave that link in the top of the description as well in case you want to host your web application up there or anywhere. I'll recommend Linode. If you don't know what Linode is, it is an alternative to something like AWS and it's really good. So you can just whip up your Mern application on and host it using Linode very, very easily. We will be doing it when that part of this application comes around, which shouldn't be too long from now, maybe within the next few months, because again, we want to get this launched, at least the MVP by the end of the year. But anyway, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but that's really all I have to say on the matter. I want to get y'all up to speed on the coding project, address 
some of the concerns, really that main concern when we're regarding spam. And I think I touched on my basis. If you have any questions or comments or other concerns regarding social leader, let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to hear it. I want this, while it's not open source, the idea to be a collaborative effort considering y'all are gonna be the ones participating in the leaderboard. So let me know what you think. And I would say subscribe, but I doubt anyone who isn't subscribed is watching this video. But since you are subscribed already, hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload and hit the thumbs up button because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.